This is a broadcast of SmallCapVoice.com, a financial communications and investor relations firm. SmallCapVoice.com receives payment for investor relations and financial consulting services that it provides to its clients. You should assume that officers, directors, and employees of SmallCapVoice.com or financial analysts mentioned and their families hold a position and intend to trade in these securities for their own accounts. This is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell securities. Information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be nor should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, an investment in a featured company carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the company thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This broadcast does not purport to be a complete study of the featured company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from the featured company and other sources but not verified nor guaranteed by smallcapvoice.com as to completeness or accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice. You're wired in smallcapvoice.com. Following is a presentation of smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support. Now, with your online business briefing, smallcapvoice.com's Stuart T. Smith. Welcome one, welcome all to this online business briefing brought to you by smallcapvoice.com. As you just heard, I'm your host, Stuart Smith, and I'm excited today to be welcoming to the show for their very first time, Fortran Corporation. Fortran Corporation's traded under the ticker symbol FRTN. They are a leading communication system integrator, and we're going to find out exactly what that means today from the company's president and CEO, Doug Rink. Doug, how are you doing today? I'm good. Good. Thanks for calling, Stuart. You bet. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by and tell our listeners a little bit about what you're doing there at your company. So if you would, what does it mean to be a leader in today's communications integration? So talk to us a little bit about your business model first, then we'll learn about some of these subsidiaries. They're pretty exciting. Well, Fortran, as I say, is a leading systems integrator. And what that means is we represent a lot of hardware in the telecommunications space for companies like Avaya, NEC, Nortel, Mitel, these kind of things. And we, we basically sell, lease, and maintain telecommunications equipment in businesses, local government, state government, and hospitality and, and health care. Well, you mentioned some incredible names right there, and it came out in a press release, listeners, I want to draw your attention to July 5th. Take a look okay. at that press release. Use that ticker symbol FRTN. Now, this mm -hmm. is talking about an acquisition of CCI Telecom. Your quote here talks about the excellent reputation in the industry and also the Fortune 500 clients that you didn't already have. So talk to us a little bit about CCI Telecom. Yeah, CCI was a local competitor to us, and they had a lot of clients that we didn't have. We also had the uh, Avaya product line and the available technical staff to, to maintain it. So that was something that we were really excited about to get. They had fewer clients than we had, but they had a lot more higher quality clients that had Avaya tends to, to be more of a, a larger client base, typically 100 telecommunication sets versus where we were doing smaller ones. This is larger. And some of those clients were, as I say, Fortune 500 clients like Volvo, and then he had a couple of more to just that he that we didn't we didn't already service in our local area. So it was a nice it was a nice acquisition for us and probably the best acquisition part of the acquisition was to get uh, Todd Rankin who was the uh, the founder of CCI. Well, let's jump into that a little bit, and we'll come back and hit some other areas. Since we're talking about a new member of the management team now, he's come on, I believe, as your new chief operating officer. Is that correct? That's correct. Let's learn a little bit more about him. Tell us about his background. Well, Todd's been in the telecommunications business a lot longer than I have. He's been in there since 1993. So he, that's the year they formed CCI. And so he's basically built the company from the ground up. He's been, this, this, he's 100% telecom. So he's in there day to day and he knows the business very well and he's very good with the employees and the technical staff. I mean, the business like ours, you know, the staff is, uh, the, your talent is, in the telephone switches, in the phone rooms, there we have a contract with the state of South Carolina. So he's, you know, you're in the these facilities, and you're, you know, there's some pressure to it uh, to make sure these these switches are working. Todd has just the unique ability to be able to bring a team like that together and lead it. And so that's he's he's done it for years. We've known each other for years, 
and uh, so it's a really good acquisition for us. Yeah, it sounds like a lot's coming with that. Not in addition to the a thousand clients, you know, you've got yourself a new chief operating officer with tons of experience within this space. Well, let's talk next about the CFO for the company, Richard Kraft. Give us a little bit about his background. Well, Richard Kraft's an interesting guy. He uh, locally here, there was, he was a, a CFO for a company called Western Steer Mom and Pops, which is a, a publicly traded company in our local little area here that did a restaurant chain all over the, the southeast. And so he has a lot of experience with, with the financial reporting and all of that. And he did, he went real well with them for a long time. He when then went into his own, that operation got bought out. Richard then went into his own business for a few years and was referred to me by one of his, one of our investors. And so we were lucky to get him with the, with the talent that he has to, to operate the company, get our financials in the gap format and all the things that we had to do. He's also a big part of our reverse merger that we did back in May 10th. So he made he really made that possible. We should drove that transaction in and really helps us and drives us forward with my my specialty is acquisition. Richard makes all the numbers work and uh, he's very good at it. Well, that's a great transition. Your specialty is acquisitions. You're also the president and CEO, and I'd like to learn more about you as our guest today. So tell us a little bit about your background. Well, a little bit about my background is that I've, we've been in the telecommunications and communications business here now for uh, about six years. Uh, the companies that we're buying have, have been are typically older. They've been in existence. The, the first one we bought was New Telephone. has been in existence since 1972. But my job is really just to, to go out and find the, find the available acquisitions. And where I've got that experience was just my career basically spans. I've, I've been in the real estate business for 20 years and uh, the media business for about 12 years and the communications piece we just added. So, you know, for 20 years that, you know, I've been an entrepreneur in these various different fields and uh, to see an opportunity in the communications, in this piece of the communications business. And we're really working toward a consolidation and uh, we feel like it's going to consolidate. And I think that's, that's where we're headed with our business. And the qualification would be that I've done a lot of deals and there's a lot of deals left to do. So, yeah, that's a great point. Talk to me a little bit about the landscape of the industry you're in right now. You've talked about that and kind of foreshadowed it. Uh, the mom and pops that are out there. There's people that are in this industry that are getting up in years and they're looking to get out. You provide that exit strategy, right? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the telecom business in general started by was created by a bunch of entrepreneurs and actually telephone executives that spun out in deregulation in the early 1980s. When they did that, they, the telephone companies basically gave them virtuoso monopolies to go out and get in their own business and sell equipment because the FCC determined that you know it was a conflict of interest for the carriers such as Bell South or AT and T to also sell equipment. So they gave that up, and these guys quit working for these large companies and they went out and formed their own business. And that was around you know the early '80s. So by today, these guys are now retirement age. So the business has really grown over the years, and I would say the peak hit in the late 90s. But since that time with VOIP and all the new things that have happened, uh, the uh, availability of the Internet to get parts and supplies and things like that for, for this kind of industry, and plus the data uh, industry coming on as hard as it has in the data providers, it has uh, sort of scared some of these mom-and-pop telecoms. They still control the clients, but they're just not willing to are just not wanting to reinvent the wheel or, you know, invest the time it's going to take to, to change their business. We think that's an opportunity because they do control the client. Uh, as we did with CCI, you know, you pick up a 1,000 clients, and, you know, you, we can get a fairly good multiple on buying these companies because they're thinking more in terms of, of getting out of the business and not staying with the business. Uh, CCI was a rare exception, but that's where we think the, the growth is going to come from is through these acquisitions uh, of these smaller companies with revenues, you know, somewhere around the 250000 which is really low for mom-and-pop telecom, to two and a half to $3 million as such as CCI was. Yeah, and there's so much that comes along with it. I mean, just looking at CCI under a microscope, CCI Telecom brought you, your new chief operating officer, brought you Fortune 500 clients. They have strategic alliances with Windstream, ticker symbol WIN, traded on the NASDAQ GS. So each one of these acquisitions has a lot of ancillary benefits coming with them. Is that a fair assessment? It is. I mean, the talent, you know, I couldn't get this talent. Todd Rankin was not looking for a job. 
you know, we had to buy his company to get him. And that's really the way it is. I mean, the talent is in there running these businesses, and it really, it's really the only way I would grow. I wouldn't go out into a new town with a backpack and say I'm in the telecom business, go knock on doors. We can do it a lot more efficient by going in, going in and finding the CCI telecoms in that market. They're out there, and they know we're looking a lot of them. Uh, and we can we can take that client, we can buy that business. You know, obviously, you have to get the synergies of dispatching and all that from one centralized location, which we do. But you can really you can right size that company and make a really good profit from it. Well, this is a company on the public side that's come a long ways in a short period of time. Once again, listeners, we're speaking with Fortran Corporation at ticker symbol FRTN. We're speaking with the president and chief executive officer, Doug Rink. Doug, we've outlined a couple of the major milestones for the company through this CCI telecom acquisition, through the hiring of your new chief operating officer. Anything else in 2013 or maybe back in 2012 that you see as a major milestone for your company? Well, the, the 2013 was it was our was a big year for us so far. I mean, we were able to the, the share exchanges and get Fortran up and uh, get the current information on the pink sheets, and then we were able to follow that up with the CCI acquisition. Our goal is to prove that that, that we've got a viable business model, and we, it's also to prove that we can do deals, and there's going to be a lot to do, and so that's what we're working towards. So I would say 2013 was a big year because it really it really prove that we can go in and make the acquisition, gain the clients. We have, as you said, alliances with Windstream and other large companies. They know who we are. And we're on the we're, we're a place they go to get service done. Also, we work for the carriers and the customers. So we're, we're in a good spot, and uh, I think we've got a really a lot of growth opportunity in the next, I would say, in the next two years. You know, we should, we should do real well with what I see in front of me. Well, let's talk a little bit about that then. What are the goals for the company? You've you've really outlined an, ex- an incredible marketplace, number one, a great acquisition strategy. Specifically here in 2013, what are some of the things you're looking to achieve? Well, we, we hope to get um, our financials moved up to the OTCBB and off the current information, just depending on how the ca- capital markets treat what we're doing. But we have planned maybe another acquisition or two by the end of this physical year. And then from there, you know, we'll see how it goes. But we got, you know, we, we're careful not to acquire too fast and not integrate each one of these businesses. It's a lot of work to do it. But our goal is to get two more acquisitions done by the end of this year, hopefully. And I don't know exactly the size of what that'll be. I wouldn't, how, how that'll impact our top line or bottom line. But that's our goal, and, and to move our, uh, our financial reporting up to uh, SEC status. Very good. Well, currently, current information on the pink sheets. This company's got a bright future, and we want you to take a closer look at Fortran Corporation. Well, listeners, just hitting that press wire one more time. I want to give you these dates. Monday, or excuse me, Friday, July 5th, Fortran Corporation acquires CCI Telecom of Statesville, North Carolina. The next one, Fortran Corporation names Rankin Operations Chief. Now, you can go find these press releases by using that ticker symbol again, FRTN. They came out on July 5th and July 8th. If you'd like to learn more about this company, you can reach out to their investor relations, 828 828- Six two four one one four seven, or just email them at info at fortrancorp dot com. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Doug. We expect great things from you and your company here in twenty thirteen and beyond. Good luck, and we hope to speak to you soon here at smallcapvoice dot com. Thanks, Stuart. All right, for Doug Rink, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for listening. Smallcapvoice dot com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support provides its clients with the highest level of service. Our audio interviews are disseminated to one of the largest opt-in audiences available today. How? We at smallcapvoice.com believe in aligning and affiliating ourselves with other leaders within the investor relations community. By sharing resources, each affiliated firm is made that much stronger and each client is served that much better. Our focus is to identify and provide the very best financial services and solutions available to clients and their shareholders. For more information about our services, please call us at 512-267-2430 or visit us on the web at www.smallcapvoice.com.